Can we dock here? Full of stories. When will you tell one that entertains? I beg your pardon? He just insulted you. Yeah, I got that. So you want a corker, do you? Very well, my brothers. I'll tell you the story of Runia, the brawler. The real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Aesir. A pretty story, but no. Rungnir, you see, was born with neither head nor heart, so the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day, found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. There he gives Rungnir his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. I was there. I saw the Aesir laugh as Hrunir leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. Then Thor shows up. And does he laugh? Oh, no. Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon and brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hrunir in his own skull to this day. Thor is so startled by the face full of rock he doesn't notice Rhaenyra's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. And again, the roars of laughter echo through the palace halls. That's an awful story, Mimir. Nothing like the one's mother told me. Let that be a lesson, my son. Truth is seldom so pretty as myth and legend. You didn't happen to find the whetstone, perchance. We found your whetstone. Oh, wonderful. This staining is unusual. The Reavers used it to smash another Reaver's face in. Oh, <clears throat> wonderful. Here, for your trouble. I can't wait to test out the new... not look like much, but it's practically humming with magic. I've needed a new one after my brother borrowed the last one. I saw him spit on it. To lube it up, he said. I didn't ask for it back. So, I heard you and Brock are kind of famous. Well, you're half right. Whatever did you hear? That you made Thor's hammer. Oh, yes, we did do that. Mjolnir put us on the map. It was a legendary run. Gods and kings knew our brand. We really did make quite a team. So what happened? Oh, well, that's a long story. Things happened that made it difficult to... find that certain spark, you know? Inspiration is a 
fickle mistress. Huh? Oh, enough distractions. You see the mess I have to clean up around here? I have a question. If Ymir was the first giant, where did he come from? In the beginning, it was Ganungagon, the great boy. There were no realms yet, only primordial forces. There was fire, and there was ice, and there in the void they met and produced... Water? More than water. The mystic lifeblood of something entirely new. From this water, Ymir took form and became a being of pure creation and chaos, mother and father to all that came after. Even the Aesir? Aye. Ah, every god, man and beast came first from Ymir's flesh. Though it was the Aesir who thought themselves so superior that they should hold dominion over the rest of creation. It was Odin who took arms against his creator and spilled Ymir's lifeblood with his spear. A necessary evil, he would say, to bring order to the realms. From Ymir's torn flesh, Odin would fashion the realm of Midgard for his own. Called himself All-Father, as if he was the creator, and not the creator's destroyer. A small, covetous tyrant. Ymir? Huh? Oh. Sorry, my boy. Uh, you know, I think at best we just end it there, actually. That's an interesting gate. I wonder who built it.
we lost? Nah. What are you fools doing back here? Come to pill for my boots and small clothes. We found your son. He... He was betrayed too. And we found part of his journal. It sounded like he regretted killing you. <laughs> Fat lot of good that does me. How'd he go out? Did I fight him? We found four corpses near his. They were decapitated. Ha! <laughs> Vandrid always did keep his sword nice and sharp. A lesson he picked up from me. <sighs> he's a backstabbing bastard, but... Knowing he's in Valhalla sets me at ease. Thanks. We did a good thing. I'm glad we came back here. That thief did not deserve the peace you gave him. Maybe so. Still, it feels good to help people. Even the dead ones. <laughs> So much like your mother. Stay dead. A little resurrection among friends is one thing. I can hardly complain. But it's as if hell itself is shambling into Midgard. Freya said the world was out of balance. That somebody meddled with forces. Oh, that's plain to see. And Odin is the king of meddlers. But I shudder to think what he did to cause this. Or perhaps it involves the Valkyries. That'd be playing a dangerous game indeed. So let me see if I have this right. You and Sindri made me own here. Yep. And then Thor used it to kill a lot of people. Your damn point? Just seems like you're mad at each other about it, instead of being mad at Thor. Kid, I like you. But you don't begin to appreciate the complexities what developed between family. You don't hear me lecturing your old man how he ought to be raising you. And believe me, there's plenty to critique. Sorry, Brock. Just trying to help. 